everyone. First cast. Going with the quarter ounce jig head, sitting in four meters of water. Tide's going out. Not a lot of movement. Water's sitting at 16.5, just under 17 degrees. Just a little Savage Gear motor oil grub. Give him a few flicks around here. This is where we caught a couple of pinkies last time I was here. Have a few flicks around here and see if we can get something. If not, we're over into the key. Fish on. Hey, beauty. Yes. Good flatty to start the morning. Hey. Ah, gotcha. There you go. Nice little flatty. First fish of the morning, nice little flatty on the Savage Gear Pro Grub motor oil. He's fat too, he's chunky as. Been eating well this fish. Fish on! Oh yeah, that's a good fish too. Yes, beauty. Ooh, she's fighting well. I don't want to come up, whatever it is. Oh yeah, good flatty. Really good flatty. Little flatty from Cryo Bay out towards the Wheat Silos Pier. Caught on the Savage Gear motor oil grub. So I was flooded. Oh, 
Ja, wie schon. Got him on the drop. Another cracker flatty. Fish. Oh, it's a cracker that one. He inhaled that grub. Yeah, you guys. Another nice flathead down in Cryo Bay. I'm turning it on today, that's for sure. There you go guys, four decent flathead from the day. The one thing you will notice, I'm inside, I'm in the garage today. Now that's because it's Sunday today and it is absolutely blowing a gale outside and I can't get the wok hot enough outside in my outdoor kitchen. Come inside the garage, in the fishing corner, and we'll cook some dinner. So these are all the ingredients that you need. So I've chopped up some veggies, got some peanut oil, coconut milk, got the yellow curry paste there. I cheated a little bit and got the steamed brown rice veggies that we've got in here. So we've got the diced up onion, diced up carrot, some zucchini and some pumpkin as well. So the onions are in first. So we'll get them fried up. Got them nice and soft. So up next, what you want to do is chuck your other three ingredients, your other three veggies in the pan as well. Good. Zucchinis in there. Carrots in there as well. And your pumpkin. All right, so now I've got all the ingredients in the pan. Got to fry them up a little bit. All right, guys. So up next, we've got the curry paste. So into this, I'm probably going to put about one tablespoon of curry paste. Now, with this curry paste, with these ingredients, I've only done half of what I have on the recipe. So I'll put the recipe at the bottom and the ingredients at the bottom in the comment section. All right, so what you want to do once you've coated all the veggies with the curry paste, you want to chuck in one whole can of coconut milk. Give that a good mix. What you want to do here, bring that to the boil. Once it's at the boil, you want to let it simmer for 10 minutes. You want to turn the temperature down and let it simmer for 10 minutes. We're almost done.
Now what I've done with the fish, that's the fish there. Just cut the flathead tails into about two centimeter chunks. So just gonna chuck them in. in there, coat it nice and evenly. Alright guys, so the rice is done, curry's cooked, let's plate up and have a taste and see how this comes out. Smells absolutely amazing. So we'll turn the heat off. Plate up the rice. There you go guys, what I'll do next, I'll get my sous chef Logan to sprinkle some garnish over the top. The garnish we're using is a little bit of fresh chopped up coriander. All right. And there you have it guys. Homemade flathead fish curry. So let's dig in, see how she tastes. Very hot. It is very hot. Wow. Oh, yeah. Absolutely beautiful. So we get the tick of approval from Logs. Yeah. That's good stuff. There you go, guys. Nice and easy fish curry made in probably under half an hour. If you want to know what the ingredients and the recipe for the curry that I just made, look in the comment section below. I'll have everything listed there. Anyways, guys, until next time, see you on the water. You.